Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of Puppeteer. Last time, the boss was defeated and he grabbed so many heads. This time, he is absolutely gonna continue on with this thing. So, let's do this. Yes, without further ado, let the next part begin. You'll recall that even after the moon goddess was defeated and her legion was put to rout, her loyal subjects tried to resist. Four champions, ever faithful, rose to their mistress's cause. Over a period of weeks, they concocted an elaborate plan to lead a pathetically small but equally valiant army against the moon bear king's castle, Grizzle Sky. Oh. But, well... Did it work? Well, what's this? Onward, he knows the bear shall pay the price for his crimes. Peter, who's who? I like the who's who one. They were hopelessly outnumbered, but so desperately did they fight, so bravely did they broil, that the tyrant himself finally deigned to confront them. Uh oh. You fight well, dare I say, skillfully, but alas. He's scared. <laughs> that shield will not protect you from me! <gasps> and that was the end of that revolt. The Moon Bear King used his dark magic to lock the four champions' powers away, and all would-be challenges to his throne were wiped from the face of the moon. That's sad! I just can't even tell about this game! This shield was a special one indeed, for within it still dwelled the power of the moon goddess's knight. He whose valiant struggles ended in tragedy. Alas, poor knight, I knew him, Kutaro. This flashy shield of his got him farther oh. than most, but when you're yeah, pitted poor against knight. the king, uh, fear got the better of him, and we're looking at the rest of him. These scratches, courtesy of the moon bear king. Just look what's become. Oops, sorry, couldn't keep my paws off. <laughs> <laughs> At last, Woo! the knight's powers. Yeah! Oh no, not you again. You sweet little muffin. Try those powers out! <laughs> Oh, very good. Oh. Next up, Lunar Big Paws. Okay, short red mouth, shut and ears open. That's my clever boy. Oh, my God. Remember, crap. you can fend off nearly any attack, great or small, just as long as you don't get smooshed in the process. Really? Luna Glob! Oh my crap! Now he's a now she's a boxing a hippo! <laughs> there. You see? Some attacks can be turned against the attacker. Oh. Try pointing the shield upward. Good. Now point the shield downward. Moving on. Luna Big Pot. The best defense is someone else's offense. And the knife shield, as it happens, was specially designed to deflect beams of magic light. Which is lucky for you, because here comes a doozy! Bounces at that grub there! Oh! Yes. Uh-oh! Ah. Gracious! <laughs> I'm glad I didn't ask you to shoot an apple off my head. <laughs> now aim this time! Yes! You're supposed to 
to get the thing. Mastery of the material. Way to go, sweetie. Now, just one more thing, dear. The shield wears out if you use it too much, so be sure to give it lots of rest. Uh -huh. Got it? <laughs> then get lost. <laughs> oh, look. The witch conjured up an exit. How sweet. We should hurry before her magic sizzles out. Yeah, she's a retard. Sadly, not all the castle's puppets were having the same luck as Kutaro. Winkum, Blinkum, and Nadia tried to make a break for it. Moonbear <gasps> King's overblown guillotine was waiting to reduce all such traitors to scrap. Poor him! Stay on your toes if you don't want to take them. Looks like you need a head to get a hand. No defense is perfect. You'll find a weakness if you keep your eyes peeled. Get the head! The witch said you might need to give the shield. Who's that? Swiped. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, now I remember. The king's brand new security system was installed here last week. Uh oh. There you go. go. Now he's got the hang of it. Now defeat him. Good job. Was it 
the night soul within the shield, or something else daring. A fire filled Kutaro's heart, and he knew it was his duty oh. to save the princess. Hmm. Just what is it about damsels? Whoa! Crap, dang it! I didn't even see! 